owe Sony one more album. It's just a box set, really. And so, uh, with two new songs, which I've written ages ago. <laughs> because ev every album that I record, I write, like, literally, I'm telling you the truth, I write, I write at least um, 120 songs every album I do. So, I can do the box set, just give them any two songs. So... <laughs> So I'm leaving Sony a free agent. Of... Owning half of Sony. So I own half of Sony's publishing in and I'm leaving them and they, they're very angry at me because of it, but uh, I just, I just did good business, you know. <laughs> tell him! Tell him, Michael! Tell the story! But, um, so, the way they get revenge is to try and destroy my album. But, but uh, I've always said, you know, art, art, good art never dies. Um, thank you. I love Unbreakable. You know. And Tommy Matola is a devil. <laughs> Tell me to tell you the dog. I'm not supposed to say what I'm going to say right now, but I, I have to let you in on a secret. Say it. So, uh, please don't videotape what I'm going to say, okay? Turn that off, please. You know what? You know what? I don't mind. Tape it. Mariah Carey, after divorcing Tommy, came to me crying, crying, she was crying so bad I had to hold her, and she said to me that this is an evil man, and Michael, this man follows me, she said, he taps her phones, and he's very, very evil, and she doesn't trust him. And he is a horrible human being. And we, we have to continue our drive until he's terminated. Oh, there you go! Rest in peace to Michael Jackson. The music died when Michael Jackson died. The day Michael Jackson died, the music died. Look at... Everybody been hearing, everybody in the comments, everybody been talking about, uh, it's been a good percentage of people saying the music is crap now. It's bullshit. When Michael Jackson died, the music died. He took it with him. You know what I mean? So Tommy Mottola, how many of you guys will sign with Tom, Tommy Mottola right now? <laughs> After Michael Jackson just told us that he the devil, what he did to Mariah Carey. So they go to the history lesson. To all you up and coming music people, Mariah Carey did a video with Bad Boy Records. Uh, it was called Honey. It had Mace on there and The Locks and P. Diddy. Do your research. And I, and the, 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 through the rumor mill before the internet, it was that Tommy Matola got mad at Mariah Carey. I guess he beat her ass or raped her or whatever I, he did some something very uh horrific to her and uh she ended up leaving old boy you know what i mean he got mad because she made that video with them niggas <laughs> but i guess that's the time when she came to michael jackson crying as, as michael stated michael telling the truth and they killed them for y'all 
So are you up and coming music people, man? When you get in this, when you really get in the game, if you're really valuable and you want to lead, they're going to kill you. You don't believe me? I would say go ask Tupac, but they killed them. You can ask Michael because Michael just told you before he died. You know what I'm saying? Michael knew what, we, what he was doing. So, man, if you want to be in this music game, a, a very good legacy to follow will be Michael Joseph Jackson. May you rest in peace. And this is my first take of Black History Month because I'm doing my early because it's going to be flooded. It's going to be very flooded. So stay tuned. I'm doing a three-part series of Black History Month and Michael Jackson's our number one at the Money Channel. Happy Black History Month to all y'all. Straight up. Like, comment, subscribe. The new Money Low Channel.